<laughs> hey, all of you. Um, my name is Anders Tornquist, and I'm the CEO and quarter owner of uh, Magoo 3D Studios. I'm actually a daydreamer also. Uh, I probably got that in school, and uh, I'm, I'm not uh, probably the best student there is. Um, I have a degree in, in industrial economics and psychology, uh, which is pretty rare, I think. And it's kind of a co coincidence that I run a, an animation shop. Um, but the thing is that I love to meet people and I feel good inside when I can do something that matters. Uh, when I can come out of a meeting and feel that I, I gave something. And I, I want to make a difference. My strongest drive is that I seldom sit back and feel that, that I, I'm pleased. Uh, I want to do better all the time. Um, I always sadly feel that I could have been better, could have done better, and that's probably what drives me to <coughs> try to be better all the time as well. Uh, when I started to, to think about this short speech that I was going to make, uh, I sat back and I, I started thinking. I don't do that very often. And I realized that this question is, is quite complex. It's not really that easy to, to find out what this all is. Um, the question of education and talent, as my colleagues often call their employees and, and future employees, um, is, is complex. Me and my colleagues, we compete with some of the best guys in the world. Uh, and I know that I have a lot of sharp brains in my shop. Uh, it's actually 250 meters over there. Um, and I have, have realized how much hard work they all put into to being good. It's not really... It's not really just a talent that they have. It's just that they put on so much work to, to get where they are. I meet a lot of people. I meet students, I meet CEOs, I meet ad agencies, producers, officers, uh, top-ranking designers, for instance. And sometimes I, I meet one student and sometimes I meet a big 2,000 uh, employees ad agency. And um, as times have gone by, I realized that there are a few, there are a few superhumans out there. Very few. Um, there are a few that can actually carry a diva's costume, and and uh, mostly, I, when I meet talented people, I'm passionate, people, passionate about their work and passionate about, about what they do. Um, talented, talented people tend to have a very calm and cool way of presenting themselves. I would say. And they have a lot of distance to, towards themselves and, and the world that they live in. Quite often when I meet students, I meet cocky youngsters that have uh, a super ego uh, telling me that they can change my world and make everything so much better. They very rarely can. Anyways, the first year, the first two years. Um, but I also meet the ones that really realize that they have their education and they can do something with it. With some hard work and, and some great ideas, they can grow and be better as soon as they start listening to people. And as soon as they get passionate and work really hard on what they really want to achieve. I'm a firm believer that everyone has the same chance. When we, when we at birth, we all have the same chance. But the society, I think, gives us all different possibilities. You guys give your children different possibilities. I do that with my kids. And I think what we need to do is we need to tell our kids and we need to tell our students that they only have to be passionate about what they do. They have to daily about what they want to do, and they want, they, they have to
start thinking that they really can do it. I don't think that education alone is, is what's needed. I think that we need to motivate the, the, the kids in school. I think we need to motivate the teachers. I think, to, I think that we need schools that can motivate everyone within the school to do better and to be passionate about what they do. Because if people start not being passionate, I think that's what's going to stop people from evolving. So. Um, for me, I think I have the best job in the world. Um, it's nothing especially fancy about it, actually. Uh, people tend to think that, but it's just a job. I go there in the morning and I go home in the evening. But I realized that coming here and doing what I do, which is pure luck, I, I actually didn't even think about going into animation. Um, it's all about the passion that I feel about. And it's the same within the whole company. So that's when I want to be.